Yes, each head represents a specific light source. From very short wavelengths ultraviolet light to a infrared, near infrared source region. That gives us a variety of light wavelengths combined with the goggles. Now it's a powerful combination. You can view the evidence under different wavelengths. Uh, you can see different things because a piece of a garment, for example, we examine a garment from the suspect. You can find fibers, hairs, body fluid, semen, and also vegetative material chemicals. With the combination of a different light source wavelengths, you can do many fruitful type of preliminary examination. Sixth, price. The Ultralight ALS basic package is a small fraction of the cost of other ALS systems and forensic laser systems and is affordable to virtually any police department in the world. Allow us to show you how well the Ultralight ALS using only the BMT head works on real evidence. This is a photograph of latent fingerprints on a dark background that have been developed with orange fluorescent powder before the fingerprints are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Note the fine detail obtained using this development method in the ultralight ALS using the BMT head. Oftentimes, using this method investigators will not only obtain extraordinary ridge and end detail, but will also obtain intricate pore detail. This is a photograph of another latent fingerprint developed with the same orange fluorescent powder, however this time on a white background. Again this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Many times detail is lost in fingerprint processing when the fingerprints are on a light or white background. Fine detail is maintained using this development method and the ultralight ALS using the BMT head. This is a photograph of latent fingerprints on a dark background that have been developed with yellow fluorescent powder before the fingerprints were illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. It is generally necessary to illuminate yellow fluorescent powders with UV light in order to view detail. Note the fine detail obtained with the ultralight ALS with the BMT head. This is a photograph of another latent fingerprint developed with the same yellow fluorescent powder, however this time on a white background. Again this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. This is the most difficult process to obtain detail. Again, generally a UV light source and special photographic techniques would have to be used to obtain the requisite detail. As you can see, without changing heads and without any special photographic techniques, the ultralight ALS with the BMT head produces more than enough detail to make the identification. This is a photograph of latent fingerprints on a dark background that have been developed with red fluorescent powder before the fingerprints are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Note the fine detail obtained using this development method and the ultralight ALS with the BMT head. Oftentimes, using this method, investigators will not only obtain extraordinary ridge and end detail, but will also obtain intricate pore detail. This is a photograph of another latent fingerprint developed with the same red fluorescent powder, however this time on a white background. Again this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Many times detail is lost in fingerprint processing when the fingerprints are on a light or white background. Fine detail is maintained using this development method and the ultralight ALS with the BMT head. This is a photograph of a latent fingerprint on a plastic bag that was developed with superglue or cyanoacrylate and then stained with rhodamine 6G. Again this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. 
The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Again, fine detail is maintained using this development method and the ultralight ALS using the BMT head. This is a photograph of latent fingerprint on a plastic bag that was developed with superglue or cyanoacrylate and then stained with MBD. Again, this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS with the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Again, fine detail is maintained using this development method and the ultralight ALS with the BMT head. This is a photograph of a latent fingerprint on a plastic bag that was developed with superglue or cyanoacrylate and then stained with RAM. Again, this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Extraordinary detail is maintained using this development method and the ultralight ALS using the BMT head. This is a photograph of a latent fingerprint on a different surface, aluminum foil, also developed using superglue or cyanoacrylate and then stained with RAM. Again, this is a photograph of the developed latent fingerprints before they are illuminated. Note that because of the reflective surface provided by the foil that some detail is noticeable before illumination. The same fingerprints illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Extraordinary detail is evident, including poor detail, using this method and the ultralight ALS using the BMT head. As can clearly be seen, virtually any latent fingerprint developed with any fluorescent method can be processed and photographed with the ultralight ALS. The important thing to note is the power of the blue merge technology in the BMT head. Again, all of the previous fingerprints were illuminated only with BMT head. This is a photograph of untreated human saliva on blue denim fabric. This is a photograph of the saliva before illumination. The same saliva stained blue denim illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Saliva is the most difficult body fluid to locate by fluorescence or any means for that matter. Saliva generally requires using a high power ultraviolet source, special glasses and special filters and photographic techniques. As you can see, saliva is clearly visible using ultralight ALS, using BMT head with no special filters or photographic techniques. This is a photograph of untreated human saliva on a light-colored bed sheet. This is a photograph of the saliva before illumination. The same saliva-stained bed sheet illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. The most difficult saliva evidence to locate is saliva on light-colored fabric. Again, particularly on light-colored fabric, saliva requires using a high-power ultraviolet source, special glasses, special filters, and photographic techniques. As you can see, saliva is clearly visible using ultralight ALS using BMT head, with no special filters or photographic techniques. This is a photograph of untreated human urine on blue denim. This is a photograph of the urine before illumination. The same urine-stained blue denim illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Urine is also difficult to locate and usually requires the use of high-power ultraviolet light sources, special glasses and filters, and photographic techniques. As you can see, urine is clearly visible using the ultralight ALS using the BMT head with no special filters or photographic techniques. This is a photograph of untreated human urine on a light-colored bed sheet. This is a photograph of the urine before illumination. The same urine-stained light-colored bed sheet illuminated with the ultralight ALS using the BMT head, viewed through amber glasses and photographed through an amber filter. Urine is more visible to the naked eye than most saliva and semen stains on light-colored fabrics. However, urine is difficult to fluoresce, usually requiring the use of high-power ultraviolet light sources special glasses and filters, and photographic techniques. As you can see, urine is clearly visible using the ultralight ALS using the BMT head with no special filters or photographic techniques.